Hello and welcome back to RuneScape 3. Okay, so in the last episode, we finished the gosh dang freaking Sigmund Trials. God, that guy was annoying as hell. Took a break, and now of course, because I'm reloading, the game is extremely laggy, but it'll fix itself. Now we need to talk to somebody else. It's time to talk to Olaf the Bard. Once again, this guy can actually be useful. Hello, Olaf. Hello, yes? You want something, Outlander? Are you a member of the council? Why, indeed I am, Outlander. My talents as an exemplary musician made it difficult for them not to accept me. Why do you wish to know this? Very laggy, goodness. Well, I ask because I am currently doing the Fremenic Trials so as to join your clan. I need seven of the twelve Council of Elders to vote for me. Well, that's a wonderful recap of the entire thing already. Wow, look at that. Oh, there goes, there goes Enia. Okay. Ah, and you wish to earn my vote? I would gladly accept you as a Fremenic, should you be able to prove yourself to have a little musical ability. So, how would I do that? Why, by playing in our long haul. All you need to do is impress the revelers there with a few verses of an epic of your own creation. Oh, Beowulf! Okay. What say you, Outlander? Are you up for the challenge? Of course we're up for the challenge. Why do I have to select the option every time? Obviously, I'm going to start it. Sure, this certainly sounds pretty easy to accomplish. I'll have your vote in no time. That is great news, Outlander. We always need more music lovers here. Alright, so now we have that. So, uh, yeah, I could, I could immediately go and try to play something and absolutely suck. Or I can try to cheat. It's gonna be very much like the beer, uh, the beer quest because, you know, you can't, you can't win it on your own. So what we're gonna do instead is craft ourselves a magical liar. Yes, mystical, very mystical. So what we want to do is head directly east of the camp. This should be some sort of swaying tree. I think it's guarded by a troll. It's got lots of bunnies. Something like that. The, yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Where is it? There it is. This mystical tree here. Yeah, so look at the bunnies. So many level 2 bunnies. I can kill them all. We want to cut a branch from the swaying tree. Now we have a branch. Alright. That's definitely a good way to start. So what we want to do is craft it all up. And... We now have an unstrung leer or liar or how how dost thou pronounce it? Leer, liar? I don't really know. Okay. So yes, we have the tree surrounded by bunnies. Now we gotta go find a golden fleece. This one's guarded by the troll, I think. Yeah, see this little encampment by the divination area? That's right. There's the golden sheep. Golden sheep with a big golden tree and golden apples. I wonder if like in RuneScape they help you regenerate like crazy. Okay, well, we, we want to find the troll, so where'd he go? There's a troll somewhere. Troll? Little troll friend, there you are! Lolly! Hello, Lolly! Trolls are supposed to be named after what they eat, so why is this one named Lolly? Is there a food called Lolly, or did he eat a person named Lolly? Hello there! Blah! Pretty humans always try to steal Lolly's store apples. You go away now! Click, 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 come on. Hello? Lag? Oh, come on. Ah! Actually, I'm not after your golden apples. I was wondering if I could have some golden wool. I need to string a liar. Yeah, what's this lag doing here? Come on. <laughs> you not fool me, human. Me, I'm smart. I trolls so jealous of how brainy I are. They kick me out of camp and make me live down here in a cave. But me have last funny. Yes, you are definitely funny. Me find golden apples on tree, and me build wall to stop anyone who not lolly eating lovely golden apples. Did me not tell you I are smart? You you did, as a matter of fact. Yes, yes, you are incredibly clever. Now, please, can I have some golden wool? Um, me think you not really think I are clever. Me think you is trying trick lolly. Mean I like you as much as other human. He gave me present. I gave him wool. Presents? Really? Really? Other human? You mean there's been someone else here and you gave them wool? Human calls itself Escaladen. It not trick Lolly. Lolly do good deal with human. Stupid human gets some dumb wool, but he not get golden apples. I see. Okay. Well, bye! 
All right, we know who Ask Aladdin is. We did that last time. It's a little kid. A little kid. You know, I think he actually will sell me a pet rock if I so chose. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe I, uh... Maybe I should look into getting one of those. I've always wanted a pet rock. Who's a cute little rock? He's a cute little rock, yeah. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 It's a long freaking walk, obviously, but that's okay. Yes, by the way, I am in a friend's chat called Norik Provis. I know the V is missing. Rootscape is weird about its Vs. But it is Norik Provis, just a friend's chat. You guys are welcome to join anytime you want. I don't mind. Hey, ask Aladdin. Aladdin? Hello there, I understand you managed to get some golden wool from Lolly. <laughs> yeah, that Lolly. What a maroon. Maroon, God. So how did you manage to get the wool? Well, as you know, I am doing the same trials that you are as part of my test of manhood, and that troll is the only one who can get that wool. You might have noticed he's kind of... messed in the head, buddy. He's real paranoid about people stealing his golden apples, isn't he? Indeed he is. So, how did you manage to get him to get some golden wool from him? It was easy, buddy! I persuaded him he needed a pet to help him guard his apples. A pet that would never sleep. A pet that would never need food or exercise. A pet that would never need him to clean it up its, um, well, you know, buddy. A pet, a pet that would be loyal to him. A faithful companion for life. What pet is that, then? A pet rock! Oh, well, yep, yeah, see, there we go. Man, can you believe that stupid troll traded me some of his golden wool for a worthless rock? Buddy, I have to say, if brains were explosives, that troll wouldn't have enough to blow his nose. Do you have any spare rocks, then? Sure thing, buddy, although I have to say, I doubt even that troll is stupid enough to fall for the same trick twice in a row. You can try anyway, though. So, he gave me a pet rock. Alright. Alright. Well, that would be a good... Although, before we leave, I actually do want to go to the local garden. And I want to pick some stuff. You'll see why in just a little bit. But this will save me a running trip. We want to grab... A cabbage. Yes. One cabbage. One raw potato. And one onion. These all be good things. Okay. Now that we have all of that, now we can run out of here. All right, we want to give Lolly a rock, a pet rock. You know, trolls look like they're partially made out of rocks. Why would they need more rocks? I don't even know, but for some reason, this one thought it was a good idea. He is very am smart, as you have already observed. You know, I got a question for you. I've been told by, I think, four different people now, actually, that I ought to start up a clan of some sort. I don't know. Is that something that interests you guys? I could do that. I don't know how often I'll be around, like, forever to set it up. I don't want to feel like I'm tied to RuneScape forever, but maybe that's your goal, to make me feel like I ha can't ever leave this game. But it would be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. You guys got to tell me if that interests you. Lolly! Hello there. <laughs> Being a human always tries to go on apples. You go away now. But wait! I have something that might interest you. A pet rock. <laughs> you think me stupid or something, human? Me I got one. Me don't want a lot of baby walks either. So we don't want another one round well plate. Please, all I want is some of your golden wool. Stupid human. Think you can trick me giving away some golden apples. Ha! <laughs> golden apples is all me got to eat. You not get them, no way. Um, hmm, so you're hungry? Hmm. I think I will have the perfect thing for you to eat. I just need to get myself an onion, a potato, and a cabbage. Oh, look at that, I already have them. Wonderful. Cunning plan. I have it all. Let's talk to Lolly once more. Hello there, wool. Unless you've got tasty food for Lolly, then I might trade you for it. As a matter of fact, I do. So tell me, Lolly. Have you ever tried a human delicacy known as stone soup? Huh? Me am not stupid, woman. Everyone know cannot make food from stone. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. I will now put this rock into your cauldron over there and make soup from it. Why, well, you need other stuff too, then. 
Ah, that is simply seasoning. Stone soup is delicious by itself, but the taste is really brought out if you use onion, potato, and cabbage, too. We have to try this. Me will swap you your wool if you not trick me and really can make soup out of a stone. Sounds good to me. Let's use, not eat. Right click, use cabbage. And I'm ready now? Not just yet. Use the potato. And I'm ready now? Not just yet. Un oh no, I got I ate the onion. All right, hang on, I'll be right back. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, onion. Who am the smart one now? It ain't me, I'll tell you that much. Use onion on the stew. Predictably, he's going to ask if it's ready, and of course it's not. Now we use the pet rock. Goodbye, pet rock. And I'm ready now? Indeed it is. Try it and see. Ooh. Yum! That are delicious. Me never know who I know how to make soup out of stone. It's some um, special stone. Indeed it is, but I'm willing to trade it. Let me think about that. Me like to think. Do you? I really, I really doubt that. Alright, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. You can see him pondering. The wheels, the wheels in his head are turning. The wheels and the bus go round and round. Let's talk to him. You're so very tasty, human. But me still not want to trade gold apples for your stone. Me think Pet Rock is jealous. I don't want any golden apples. All I want is a golden fleece. Gee, I hear me. All you have to do is ask me not need you to shout. You, you act like you think Lolly am stupid or something. Here you go. <laughs> me trick you, human. All you got is worthless golden fruits. Me got very special soup making stone. Glad you're happy, Lolly. Hooray! Now let's go and make the golden fleece into some wool. Then we shall string the lyre. And then once the lyre is strung, we'll need to get it enchanted. And this is where the raw shark comes in handy. It's okay, though. It's okay though. Gosh, the lag. I'm getting frame drop like crazy. It's like it's like the RuneScape servers are having trouble. More likely, it's just my fraps just happens to be recording at a bad time. And it's all like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, I've lost my way. And it wants me to reset it. Well, too bad. I'm not resetting the dang thing. All right. There's supposed to be a spinning wheel somewhere, but I don't really remember where. Uh, is it in here? No. No, it's not in there. How about in here? Maybe it's maybe it's in here? It seems like a crafting house. Wouldn't surprise me. Some sort of longhouse crafting house thing. There it is. Perfect. All right. We're going to use the golden fleece on the spinning wheel. And now we have a golden wool. We're going to use that on the unstrung lyre. Okay. And now we have a regular lyre, but it's not special right now. It just has particularly nice looking strings, which is a great resellable value of this thing. Don't get me wrong. This thing would sell for a fortune to the right custom market, but that's not what we're trying to do. So instead, we want to go southwest to a little altar that I know is down here somewhere, All right? We're going to basically try to like appease some like water spirit or something, some sort of special spirit. This is where we use the, uh, the special raw shark, or a sea turtle, or a manta ray, whichever, but the shark is the cheapest option. There we go. Fossa Grimen. Many thanks for the offering, Outlander. Please accept this gift as your ability to fly the lyre. Yay, golden lyre. All right, now that we have an enchanted lyre, we, I don't remember. Do we actually go to Olaf the Bard, or do we go to the stage and just play? I, I actually can't remember. I think instead we're going to talk directly to Olaf the Bard and tell him we're ready to go. And as soon as that's done, I'll call the episode over. We'll have only like one or two more votes to go. So, we're definitely getting close, but gosh, this is a tedious quest, isn't it? <laughs> now you know why I've been putting it off so long. Olaf! I have a special liar. So, how would I go about writing this epic? Well, first of all, you are going to need an instrument. Like all true bards, you are going to have to make it yourself. 
How do I make an instrument? Oh gosh, really? I already know this. Long drawn out process. Yes, we know. Blah 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 blah. Come on, worthy offering. We know all this. We know all of this. What else do I need to do? Uh, performance in the revelers. Okay. Head past the bouncers and onto the stage. Then begin to play. If all goes well, you should find the music spring to your mind and sing your own epic on the spot. I will observe both you and the audience, and if you show enough talent, I will happily vote in your favor at the Council of Elders. Is that clear enough, Outlander? Would you like me to repeat anything? God, no. Don't need a reminder. I think it's all pretty straightforward, and I'll go and make my lion now. Up, oh, done. Let's go ahead past the bouncer. Do I need to talk to the bouncer, or can I just walk out? I don't remember. Hey, you're good to go through. Olaf tells me you're some kind of line the bard here on tour. I doubt you're worse than Olaf is. Yeah, apparently Olaf sucks. But we're going to go to the stage, and we are going to play my liar in front of the audience. Play! The thought of lots of questing leaves some people unfulfilled. But I have done my simple best in entering the Champion's Guild. <laughs> That's it? Really? Wow. Wow, that was awesome! You are one of the greatest bards I've ever had the pleasure of watching performing! You've certainly earned my vote. I hope we can do wets together soon. And that is yet another vote done and frickin' over with. So I have five votes, two more to go. This is where things start to get a little complicated. I'm gonna have to start fighting some stuff now. Uh, actually, no, wait, I think there's one more before that. Yes, there's actually a big puzzle thing, which will probably take an entire episode. And then we fight, and then we're done. Oh, two more episodes to go. It's going to be great. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Provis with RuneScape 3 and the Fremenic Trials. And I'll see you guys next time.